Hello guys, Igor here doing one more AppSumo review, today analyzing Huddle IQ, a tool that claims to power up remote meetings and presentations with an online whiteboard. So it's a whiteboard tool where you can create educational content or organize information and even try to create um, tasks to your team members or students. So whiteboard tool is like a tool that you have it to do your own project in your own way. So they will give you the flexibility to create contents that you can share on social media or work with your team members. It's an alternative to Miro and Mural. Those are the most you know, famous tools, whiteboard tools, and Huddle is here to give you a second perspective. Huddle IQ is a comprehensive digital whiteboard that gives you all the tools you need to meet, present, and collaborate productively online. So let's check out how the deal works and you get every, every feature of their plan, their premium plan, if you buy only one code. But if you buy more codes, you're gonna get more team members. The difference here is about the number of the team members. You can buy up to 10 codes, uh, sorry, up to 10 codes. If you get 10 codes, you have 50 members. With one code, you have five members. The other features are unlimited. So let's check out how Hudo IQ works. It's pretty simple. You just click here to on the plus button to create your new board. And here on the left, you have the projects. The projects are your folders. So you're going to create the boards inside the folders. For instance, clicking here, new project, and you say, you know, my AppSumo folder. We have the AppSumo folder here. And you can see I can create projects boards inside that project. Click here to create your board. Then you name your, your board. Sumo is great. You can invite people clicking here on that button. And you can change the cover of your board, uh, adding an image. Clicking here on upload. I just uploaded a random cover to my board and I'm going to click here to create. You can see here that now we have a board and they have many templates. You can see here a uh, one cell template, 10 columns, a uh, one on one meeting templates. You can select many of those, uh, any of those templates. Crazy eights, customer journey map, cu uh, customer problem statement, daily stand-up, decision matrix, you can, you know, describing well, you can create your whiteboard using a template. For instance, I'm going to select that describing wheel here. You can see here, we have already a template on my whiteboard. I'm just click and drag something inside. Okay, click two times to change the text. Okay, so that's an example of a template. But let's start to work with the features. As you can see here, they have a video conference feature. Okay, so you can use video to communicate with your members. We have a presentation mode where you can show up the your project, your whiteboard to your team members. You can create slides to add to a presentation. You have a comment features where people can see what you are thinking about that board. You have also a chat to talk to people. Hello. You can also use an emoji here to communicate. If you are going to do any task on your whiteboard with, for instance, your students and you want to, you know, give them 10 minutes to complete a task. You can start a task timer here. So just add the time you need, for instance, 10 minutes, and then you click here to start. 
and you will hear a sound notification on timer expiration. You can also create pools to interact with your team members. My first poll, you can add your question. What's your favorite? Epsom Geo, Super OK, or Huddle, Huddle IQ. You can also add another possibility here, black box. And then you click here to start your poll. So pretty simple. You have a poll and people can just answer your question. And that's another feature to communicate with to your audience to, you know, create interactive experience with your audience. Every time you want to undo something, because, you know, you make a mistake, you have a button here to do that, undo and the redo. Clicking here, you can come back to the dashboard. You can also go to full screen mode, clicking here and zoom in and zoom out. I'm zooming out and now I'm zooming. You can import or export your whiteboard and you can save it as a template. Just click on that button here. Okay. And here you can see the list of attendees, people who are here seeing your whiteboard. You know, you can change some configurations to personalize the tool the way that you need. For instance, changing the stick note defaults or the text object defaults. They have some integrations. Which ones are Adobe, Dropbox, Icon Finder, Google, OneDrive, Pixabay, and Slack. You can use all of those integrations. And here on the left is where you are going to create the content of your whiteboard, finally. Okay? Here is to select and move. You can see that I'm moving here a stick note. Now I'm going to, you know, make it bigger. And let's say I want to change the color. Just click here. And then I want to write. Hello. That's my first stick note. Okay. It's here. First stick note. You can also change here the color of your text. You can change the shape of your stick notes. You can do it here like a balloon. Okay. If you want to delete any element, just click here to delete it. You have also the pen and highlighter. You can change the color of your pen. Okay. And then you can just drown here. You can drown. Hello. You can check. You can mark on your notes. Okay. You can drown here with the pen. You have also an eraser button. So just click here and they are going to erase what you wrote. Here is where you can add a text. So you can write. You can write here. Okay, let's. I'm going to zoom in and you're going to see my writing here. I'm writing here. Just expanding my right. My, my phrase is here. You also have the stick notes to create one. Click here, select the color of the stick notes and it's done. You have a stick note just over here. And remember when you, you know, finish to create your whiteboard, you can just uh, save it as a template and then you can use the way that you want without the need to create a new one uh, from the scratch. Clicking here, you can add comments to your whiteboard. You can create um, cards, but I would need to upgrade my plan for that. And you have also objects. You can add objects to your whiteboard. As a resource, you can use emojis, icons, icons uh, from Amazon, icons network, icons material design, and many kinds of different icons, image, videos, template. You can add media to your library. You can use a new URL for that. For instance, embedding a YouTube video. So just click, click here and you are done. And then you can see my YouTube video here. If you want to play it, you just need to click on it. Okay. And I'm going to play your video. You can add also material from your computer. For instance, I'm going to upload here a PDF. 
about the documents that you can add there are many you can add google docs you can add df rst doc you can add ebooks here you can add presentations um for instance powerpoint spreadsheets and vectors those are the documents so why you're going to use a whiteboard you're going to use a whiteboard if you want to, you know, interact with your audience or create content in a dynamic way, this has many, 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 many features. You can likely, you know, uh, do it in the way that you want. A lot of uh, teachers use it to interact with students, creating, you know, different kind of activities to make the class more dynamic. All right. You can also use video conference and you have their own presentation mode. I hope you like that review. If you like it, please click on the link below and get Huddle IQ. Thank you so much. Bye bye.